It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Raiders and the Fins, and it comes your way next. It is a tropical, hot summer afternoon, so staying hydrated is going to be key for the players, the fans, even the commentators as we are at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Dolphins, they've got some high hopes for 2023. They feel like they've got the pieces to make a run. They need a little bit of health, but they think they can be right there in the AFC East. And they'll want every game to be a track meet because speed is their calling card. If they're able to sprint out there ahead of people and make them chase, they'll be tough to reel in. And then for the Raiders, this is a tough team to figure out. They stumbled home to a 6-11 finish last year. But you say if they want to turn things around, it has to start on the defensive end. It certainly does. And while they've had some dynamic pass rushers along the way, they've needed more and they've added them now in free agency and the draft, as well as some new faces on the back end to help shut down people throwing the football. Here's the putter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Miami. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023, the former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year when he was out there. He was excellent, leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. Jimmy going to look to throw it on the first play. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Garoppolo's throw into the hands of Hooper. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now second and five. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Play action, Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. A first carry for the all-pro running back. It's Josh Jacobs. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. They'll come up facing third and five. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. 
On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now Tua Tungabailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now the rookie third round pick, it's Devon A-Chain. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Uh, again, it's a chain. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. Absolutely, moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely, you know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays, and what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. Tua now on first down. Open man downfield is Waddle, well. he's got it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. It's early, but it now took cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're gonna have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. Two and now on first down. Getting this out to the flat, Moster. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. Hang on now, we're gonna pause here. We've got an injured player. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. They run the toss here to Wilson. And a good display of footwork will only get him just inside the five to the four. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Tua looking to throw on third and two. Touchdown! Sam Wilson from four yards out. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7-0. now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they 
takes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 29, here's the second down and four. Throwing now is Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Here's Jacobs on first and 10, and he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Garoppolo now, first down throw. He's got Hooper on the short connection. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And they'll come up second and seven. There's Garoppolo to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Quick throw caught out wide by Renfro. And the Raiders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. Jacobs. No score. Touchdown, Raiders. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. So Miami coming out for their second drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. And that's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A-chain on first and 10. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. First down, they go back to A-chain. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Second and ten. A chain here, they stay on the ground. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. 53 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, that's why the guy with the headsets is down there. All right, they know what they're doing because they got stuffed on a running play on first down. And I think myself and probably the fans were saying throw the football in this situation. But he knew what he was doing, called another run, and now they've got third and short. They set up the screen to Oche. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Tua gets this one to Hill. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. This now a third and four. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. H.A. now up the middle. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Two and L, third and goal. Buying time to his left. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. To a ton of Iloa. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Well, there's something that goes back to the early years of his career. Remember, he had three touchdowns in each of his first couple of seasons. None last year as they've tried to dial back his running, especially down close to the goal line. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14-7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On play action, it's Garoppolo. He sets to fire deep. And this is caught at the 20. And he will finally be taken out of bounds as it's an enormous play there on the final snap of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football as they've got it with a first and ten.
Jacobs going to try the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Now Garoppolo. The left side throw complete to Adams. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. To throw is Garoppolo. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. On second down, Jacobs. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. Jacobs again. Trying to find a lane, but he finds nothing but defenders. Stop for no gain at the two-yard line. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Touchdown, Raiders! Josh Jacobs, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Raiders' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And now off to the races, down the right side. Look at him go inside the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Miami. That was a special return. And it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? You're exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. Sanders on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points.
So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Jimmy Garoppolo and the rest of his offense ready for their next possession. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he stopped immediately there. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. On play action, now Garoppolo. That quick throw there is incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is, and this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Sanders now to add the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know, in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. On first down, Garoppolo. And his throw is incomplete. Now that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A. Zone coverage, knew where his man was in relation to the football at all times, and made a nice play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. 
Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that's complete to Adams. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Barrios. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Devon A. Chain in the offense, ready to go once again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They'll start on the ground here on first down. They'll get this to about the 38. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 38 now, here's second down at seven. Tua sets up to pass it. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. It's a big play there for Miami. 55 yards. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half. And with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively. Just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. And they'll run here with a chain. 65 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. A chain once more, and this time he'll score. Touchdown, Miami. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for, and a great surge by the offensive line. Sanders on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was finished off with a touchdown run from Devon A. Chain. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 
Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw taken in by Adams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. It's caught here by Adams. And he's taken down inside the 30. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Garoppolo now. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Here's Jacobs. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Once again, it's Jacobs. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Third down and one. to throw, it's Garoppolo. Open man, it's Mayer in the end zone for the Raiders' touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Raiders get a bit closer.
You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Carlson now to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Devon A chain in the offense ready to go once again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Tua going to throw. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him a good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest, and they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Tua wants to throw it on second down. They complete it to Hill. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Looking to pass, Tua. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Tua setting up shop to throw again. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. I uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and this Vegas offense operate. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, 
you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Garoppolo's throw into the hands of Hooper. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw there complete to Myers. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Dolphins got some strong play out of their quarterback number one, Tua Tungavailoa. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. A give up the middle to H.A. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. 72 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 43, it's second and three. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. The short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time but it'll be second down. Here's Tua. Well, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. 
Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Las Vegas' pass rush was one of the weakest in the league last season, but don't tell that to Crosby. He earned Defensive Player of the Year votes with 12 and a half sacks, nearly half of his team's total. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. They showed up a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw Garoppolo. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And here comes Berrios. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Two and now on first down. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now Tua. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that would be incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. Running it with Jacobs. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. On play action, now Garoppolo. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Garoppolo looks to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that's also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Vailoa. To the sideline and incomplete. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Tua sets up to pass it. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end, now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here now, third and a yard. They'll run for it with A-Chain. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 97 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. But they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 43, here's a second and eight.
He'll look to throw. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. They'll look to throw. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to kick it away. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Raiders heading out to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and five. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards is the pick up there at a Raider first. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. He's got Hooper on the short connection. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Here's second and seven. Play action. Garoppolo. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Normally being a big body receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football... That position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Now this drive will begin with a run from H.A. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. And the safety, Trayvon Merrig, up to make the play defensively. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Two are going to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, and it's third and five. Let's go. 
They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun now on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call him for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. On first down, Garoppolo. Incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Now a second and ten. Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Garoppolo again. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Here's Jacobs. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and ten. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that throw is incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And he's got Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Raiders have cut it back within a score. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Carlson on for the PAT.
And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it was Hunter Renfro who capped things off with a touchdown reception. as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Berrios now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Devon A. Chain in the offense ready to go once again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. And you've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. To his throw here, going to be caught by Wilson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Waddle, the motion man right. Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Looking to pass. Tua. Over the middle complete. That's Hill. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A good pickup there, 26 yards. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now they just wanted to catch the football first. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 16 yards and sets him up first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Going to the air, tug of my law. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting to gain. 
A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Tua. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Raiders offense ready to go. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Just need a yard here, second and one. Garoppolo now. He's got Hooper on the short connection. His big game continues, 10 catches now, and another first down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Garoppolo. This one hauled in. Again, it's Hooper. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To throw is Garoppolo. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 36. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Open man is Myers. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. A first down run with Jacobs won't get a whole lot, maybe a yard, but that's about all and it's second down. Let's go. 
second and nine. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Touchdown! Austin Hooper. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Did you see how the linebackers froze for just a second? That's why you run play action. You want to keep them rooted in the spot and create a little bit of extra space so your tight end can find some room behind them. And then the quarterback finds his target downfield and he turns it into six points. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Rock and roll, baby. Yeah, go right now. Let's go, dude. Now Tua. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So here's a first and ten at the 38. A chain on the counter. And shedding through the tackle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Two yards, good enough for a first. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, but coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Tua to Tyreek for the Miami first. H.A. now up the middle, and he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula, just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick.
Here's Tongue of Ilo to throw. It's a slant to Hill. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 26. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Two and now on first down. That's going to be caught by Waddle. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. From the 20, here's a second and four. Two are going to throw. What a reach for that one, but can't grab it. It's behind him, and it's incomplete. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Off of play action. Tongue of Iloa. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall, first on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Now second and five. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the short connection. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get your reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Garoppolo to throw. Now that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. 
I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Let's do this, man. Do your thing. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. That'll be caught by Hill. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Right there, we can do it. It's all about teamwork. Focus, boys. Focus. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. And a fair catch signaled for it and taken at about the 18-yard line. So Garoppolo and the Raiders now. Down by a field goal, a minute 15 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Garoppolo, able to connect with Jacobs. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. They'll try again here, second and ten. Back to throw, Garoppolo. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Pass complete, it's Adams. And he is gonna have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Here's first down. They'll look to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had a share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Another try, second and ten now. He'll look to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip. Try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. One final try now for Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Miami, so long, everybody. Not headed to the airport for this one. One more day here will suit me just fine.